Hey, what's up? It's Ishe Smith here, former IBF junior middleweight champion of the world. Make sure you guys subscribe to the Sporting Icons. Cheer. So I thought that Demetrius Andre, the WBO middleweight world champion, has asked a very good question, which is, why is it that at super lightweight, you can see Josh Taylor and Jose Ramirez fight for undisputed? At 154, super welterweight, we can see Jamal Charlo taking on Brian Costano. Why is it that we could be seeing Undisputed with Sal Canelo Alvarez and Caleb Plant? Why is it that potentially, who knows, we could end up seeing Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury for Undisputed at the end of the year? But nothing's happening in the middleweight division, the 160 pound division, the division that currently Demetrius Andrade is in. So Demetrius Andrade is asking that question that the WBC, the WBA, the IBF and the WBO are not doing all they can to force unifications. The current champions at middleweight are 160. Jamal Charlo, Triple G, Gennady Golovkin, Raya Murata, Demetrius Andrade. They own four of those belts, between all four of them. There isn't even a unified champion, which is complete opposite as to how it was not so long ago. When the winner of Triple G and Sal Canelo Alvarez just needed one more belt. At the time, it was a belt that B.J. Saunders had. They were one belt away from crowning an undisputed champion at middleweight. But of course, the WBC, they then in intervened. They awarded Salkin and Alvarez a franchise status, took the full WBC belt off of him and awarded it to Jamal Charlo. From that moment, when that happened, and I made videos on this one, undisputed unifications out the window. And look what's happened. We don't even have a unified champion at 160. So Demetrius Andrade is asking the right question. Now, I can criticise Andrade from one perspective and saying, well, why is it that you're trying to chase Sal Canelo Alvarez, who's not even in your weight division right now? You should be chasing down Jamal Charlo, Rata Murata, Triple G. What's going on? What's going on with all four of these guys? Why are you not fighting each other? There's no reason why you shouldn't be fighting each other. You've got Jamal Charlo, who's calling out um, Sal Canelo Alvarez. You've got Jamal Charlo, who's going to be fighting this, uh, was it Montiel, whatever his name is next? Why are you fighting this guy? Unless he's your mandatory, why are you fighting him? He's not his mandatory, is he? I'm pretty sure he's not. So why are you fighting this guy? Why are you not fighting Demetrius Andre? Triple G, Murata Murata. Now, we know Triple G, Murata, they're talking about fighting at the end of the year, in the new year. Why? Because in Japan, New Year, of course, is a big celebration. They get like a, um, a lot of eyes and ears. They're going to make a lot of money by unifying in Japan in the New Year. Okay, but what are you doing between now and then? Surely you guys are going to have, have, to, have to fight someone. Why can't it be a unification? Why is that? Eddie Hearn, when it comes to Jamal Charlo, he said, well, Charlo, if, if you want to have a unification with Demetrius Andre, all you got to do is pay Demetrius Andre the same amount of money as what you paid Sergei Divrachenko. But what have we had? We've had tumbleweeds. We, we've had crickets. Why is that? Why is it that the middleweight division is on hold? Demetrius Andre is absolutely correct. Because he is the one making the noise. Let's be honest. He is the one calling out Jamal Charlo. He is the one calling out Triple G. What's Eddie Hearn doing about it? What's the zone doing about it? Why are they not making actual offers to any of these guys? I think we're in an era now where champions can do whatever it is that champions want to do. If they want to unify, yeah, go on in if you want to, but you don't have to. Sanctioning bodies, WBC, WBA, IBF, WBO, you should be ordering your current champions say, right, you don't have a mandatory, let's see a unification fight. A 50-50 split, Unification. Jamal Charlo, Demetrius Andrade, Murata Murata, Kanani Golovkin, however you're going to do it, let's get undisputed on the road. Because there's no reason why we should have four champions in one weight division for the middleweight division. So for me, Demetrius Andrade is absolutely correct. Jamal Charlo, listen, I've become a huge fan of his lately. With that win over Sergei Devrachenko, at that point I said, okay, now I understand why he is the WBC world, um, world middleweight champion. He's now earned that position rather than just be giving it to him. Because he beat Devrachenko more convincingly than what Daniel Jacobs and Triple G done, certainly more, more than what Triple G done. But now you've taken a backward step by taking on this Montiel guy that no one's bloody well heard of. Why are you fighting this guy for? 
If I didn't lose Montiel, didn't he lose to Jaime Munguia? Why are you fighting Munguia's leftovers? Because you did that with that uh, British, British Australian fella. What is going on? Show that you are about this stuff. Cancel that bullshit fight with Montiel and get fighting Demetrius Andre. PBC, Matchroom, make this fight for the love of God. At the end of the day, worst case scenario, Matchroom, what's wrong with um, Triple G and Demetrius Andre? Why can't you get that fight over the line? This is an in-house fight. Both fighters are on DAZN. Surely DAZN can interfere and say, well, you two need to be fighting each other. Surely to God. Demetrius Andre is absolutely correct. The middleweight division is looking pretty embarrassing right now. Drop your thoughts below, click thumbs up, subscribe, catch you on the next video.